Hi, my name is Ali Hart and this is Elijah and this is Tobias and today we're going to teach you all about colour theory. You're going to learn how to do three different colour wheels using just blue, red and yellow. So let's get started. The things that you need to get started are three pages. It's okay if you just use printer paper, you need a pencil, you need a paintbrush, you need some water for your paintbrush, and you need the colours blue, red and yellow. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use one of our pages and we're going to use our pencil and we're just going to do an exercise to get your brain um, and your arm engaged, to get muscle memory going. And all we're going to do is we're going to do circles on our pages, continuous circles. So we're going to use our new skill to put your one page away. You're going to now use your second and third page. So you've got two pages. And on your two pages, you're going to do circles. So on one page, you're going to do a circle at the top and a circle at the bottom, okay? And then on your second page, you're gonna do one big circle. So by now, you will have your three circles, okay? Um, Elijah's just gonna explain to us. So the way that it works is you use your three colors, for the first one we have three and then after that they multiply to make um, six. Yeah, and then after that they multiply to make twelve. Twelve. So there's a little bit of maz in there as well as that kind of magic element of whenever you're mixing every colour to change that. So let's do that. So you want to get your your two circles to begin with, and you're gonna put the first one into three. So a line down the middle is the best way to do it. Pathway and then out, and that gets three. Bit like the peace sign and then the second one we need six so the easiest way to do that is a line across the middle and then you want to do like a triangle middle. this one looks a little bit like a pizza now you need your second page for this we need 12 across the middle inside each one of these little pies you need to do another triangle so you've got one two three in each one same with the next one one, two, three. Now the exciting bit, you get to add some colour. So for this, we need you need your brush. That's okay. Um, you need your brush. Clean. You need a clean brush. Sorry, we have, we're back to basics here. You need a clean brush, and you need your paints, which are your red, yellow, and blue. And we're going to start with yellow. So on your first page, which has your two circles on it, you're going to add yellow to the top circle and to the bottom circle. One of the little triangles, choose whichever one you want. And then pick another one underneath where you want to put in your yellow. And then on the last one, you want to put in anywhere as well. So the easy, put, the easy bit is this bit, whenever we can just put it anywhere. And then we work the other colors around that. So I'm going to pick along here for my yellow. And Tobias has gone ahead. Tobias has gone ahead here and done a little bit where you can see underneath his yellow he has put the letter Y. Y. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same. So when you've got that light, you just take your pencil and you're going to put the letter Y beside your yellow. And we're going to add in our R for red but you're going to skip so we have six remember this one multiplied so we're going to have yellow space red and then red space blue so we're going to put blue so it's going to look a little bit like this and we're going to take our last one because this is where you do need to put a little bit of concentration in but I know that you'll all be able to do it so we've already put our Y, so can you remember what way we do, how many we leave between? Two, three. Three? three. Yep, yeah, three. So Y, one, two, three, B. B, one, two, three, R. 
one, two, three. So you should have your R, B, and Y, and three in between. So there'll be three, because they're going to multiply. Remember we were saying we start off with three, then six, then the exciting one, which is 12. So we've got yellow on all of them. What we need to, Tobias has already started with his, he's got his red. So let's fill in the red on every one of the circles now. So just clean your brush. Take your paint from your palette. And we're going to fill in, yeah, the red. And red here. So where you have the R, you want to fill in your red. And then here we have the R. I'm going for yes, one more yellow. And now we're going to go for the blue. I'm going to fill that in, and then you've got your primary colour wheel made already. So you're doing your blue? Yeah, the blue. Oh, no, you're okay. It looks good. So now we've got the parents on there, and then we need the blue on here where our blue is. This is on our tertiary one. Yellow, what do they make? To us? Uh, blue and yellow, they make a uh, na 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 oh, uh, orange. Nope, they make green. green. <laughs> so orange. we're going to put a G for green here. Now, Elijah, let's try again. What do yellow and red make? Orange. Perfect. So you're going to put an O for orange. What do red and blue make? Hands <laughs> off, yes. Purple. Purple, so you're going to put a P on that. So you see on this last sheet? Mm -hmm. So we've got one, two, three. In the middle of each one is where you're going to put that secondary colour. So red and yellow mix to make. Orange. So we're going to put an O in the middle one. One, two, three. So we're going to put yellow, blue. We've got a little one in the middle. One, two, three. So the middle one is where our G is going to go. Red and blue make purple. So we want those in. We've got one, two, three. We want the middle one again. Purple. Okay. So let's make those and get those on because then we will have our secondary colour wheel done. So the first one we're going to go for is we're going to go for our orange. So you need a little bit of yellow, you need a little bit of red, and you're going to mix the two of those to make your first orange. You're going to put that straight on where the O is then. Okay, and then after that, we're now going to make our green. Here you go. So for green, we need to take, is that okay? We need blue and we need yellow, okay? So you don't need loads of blue, but you need blue and you need yellow. And again, mix it so you get a really strong green. Brilliant, now put that where your G is, where your green. And you can see it starts to get really exciting because the colors start to come together and it's just much more ooh, exciting to look at. And look, we're almost done on our secondary color wheel. The last one we need to do is P for purple. purple. So you're gonna take your color plate again and take a little bit of blue and a little bit of red. And then you're gonna put it where the P is, the purple, okay? Once you do that, you will see, it might not feel like a purple until you put it on here and you will see that it really is lovely. And then we want to do it on our third one. The boys are going straight ahead. And now for the very last bit, which is actually really fun. In between orange and yellow, we have yellow orange. So Y-O, you're going to put in between those two. In between yellow and green, we're gonna have green yellow. G Y. In between blue and G, we're gonna have B G, blue green. Blue and purple, we're gonna have purple blue. P B. P R, purple and red, we're gonna have purple red, red purple. R P. R P. 
And then our last one is going to be red orange. So R O. So you start to get all your different letters on there, but it just keeps you right for whenever you're mixing it. So the first thing we're going to do is make our shade of orange. So you're going to just take the orange that you have already, you're going to add some yellow to it. And you're going to apply that on where it says YO for yellow orange. So we're going to mix now some red into our orange. So this is your red orange. My red orange. Sorry, You'll see red. how that then goes. That's okay. It's right. Okay. So now we're going to go for the greens. They're my favourite because I love lime green. I love the way it works. So clean your brush again. You're doing really well here, lads. Okay, you're going to have green already on your plate too. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some yellow and mix it into your green. But if you look at how many colours you have made from just your three, this goes on to our green yellow or a yellow green. There. And this is all just from using the three primary colours that we had at the very start. One, two, three. Okay. So Elijah's looks a little bit more like um, sort of mossy colour, but again, it's still a variation of colour. Cool. Okay, now revisit your green again, and we're going to take blue this time. That goes where your BG is. So blue, green. GB, green, blue, blue, yeah. And it starts to be a lovely emeraldy sort of colour. And look how you start to get this rainbow effect. We're into the last stage, which is our purple. So go to your purple on your mixing plate, and you're gonna go for a little bit of red on the side of that. So you just need a little bit of red, mix it into your purple, and you start to get purple red or red purple. So just take your time with it. It'll look kind of like a grape color. That's brilliant. You're gonna put that on where it says red purple. That's great, that's a really, so red purple. Actually, mine's are really like a great colour. There we go. That's very like mine as well. Well done. And then your very last one, which is another colour that I really love, and it is purple blue. So you're going to take blue and mix that into your original purple. <gasps> and you get a really heavy purple. It's a really dark purple for purple blue, your blue purple. Well done. So you get all of your colours in one spot. So every time you go to think about buying shop bought green or buying brown, brown's another one that we can learn how to mix as well, but just think about how easy it is to mix. Do you think that that makes more sense now? Yeah, definitely does. What was your favourite bit? Um, tertiary. The tertiary, yeah. So even though it's a little bit trickier, this one's definitely more fun. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Great. Well, thank you for watching, and I'd love to see how you make your color wheels and what they look like. And we will see you 